So hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use an interactive selection and select by location in RGIS Pro. So now let's get started. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the interactive selection tools uh, to be able to uh, kind of uh, select features uh, by just uh, kind of clicking in the map. And uh, we will later talk about the select by location tool. So now to access your selection tool, first we have to navigate this option called map section here. And from map, uh, map section, so we're going to select uh, this particular tool called select uh, select by rectangle. And followed by we have another tool called select by attribute. And the third is the select by location. So now first we're going to select this particular tool called select by rectangle. So we're going to click this. And I'm going to click this down arrow button here. So here you can able to see we have a different selection tool. And here we have this variety of different selection methods. For example, we have select by rectangle, select by polygon select by lassos and select by circle and line and last is a trace and uh, when we navigate this part of the section here so we're going to click this option called uh, selection options so now here a new window pop up saying options here and in this window we're going to select this particular uh, section called selection and in that we have this uh, set interactive selection options and modes and uh, here we have this uh, interactive selection mode uh, we have two different uh, interactive selection mode one is for partially within and the second one is uh, wholly within so for now uh, we don't need to uh, go into much detail about this particular selection so first we can navigate this particular option called selection combination mode so by default it selected the first option called create a new selection so basically every time uh, you use those interactive uh, selection uh, tools it will uh, clear out the previous selection and uh, create a new one so you can change that to uh, the second option that is add to the current selection or you can select uh, remove from the current uh, selection and last is uh, select from the current selection so you can be, uh, basically you can select uh, the features from the current uh, selection so uh, what you do is like a selection once and uh, you can kind of uh, come back and uh, then uh, refine what you have selected and uh, to uh, access this uh, kind of selection uh, combination modes here so you can use this keyboard options for example to select this particular one that is add to the current selection you can use this uh, shift plus click in your mouse so use your keyboard uh, shift and plus your mouse click to select this particular selection combination mode and next is to uh, select uh, remove from the current selection we're going to use control plus click and the fourth selection option to do that we're going to uh, select uh, control plus shift and we're going to click it on our mouse to select this particular option select from the current selection and they're going to select the default one here and uh, you can always come back uh, into this option and uh, option menu and kind of change your change your options here so now uh, let me click ok and now let us go ahead and uh, select some few so now let us go ahead and uh, select a uh, few features from this uh, layers so in the table of content section you can able to see we have uh, two different layers here so the first layer which represents the population status and the second layer which represents the the reserved forest area for the specific study region so this uh, specific study region lies in canada here and before that let me uh, go ahead and uh, show you the different uh, selection tool here for example we have this first uh, tool called select by rectangle so it select features by clicking on them or drawing a box around them so now i'm going to select this particular tool so i'm going to draw a rectangle over this particular uh, features so you can able to see that is selected all those uh, features uh, which uh, falls uh, within this rectangular box and the next uh, we're going to select uh, select by polygon so select by polygon select features by drawing a polygon around them so you're going to click this and going to clear the selection and now we're going to draw a polygon uh, based on that it's going to select the features inside the polygon so we're going to draw a polygon here and now uh, to finish this particular polygon i'm going to double click so now we can able to see it has selected all those features which is falling inside the polygon and let me clear the selection here so in the next i'm going to select uh, select by lasso so i'm going to uh, click this tool called select by lasso so it selects features by drawing a freehand shape around them. So we're going to click this option called lassos. So select by lasso is kind of similar to the select by polygon. So uh, let me show you that. So once you selected the select by lasso, I'm going to draw a polygon. First, I'm going to click here 
and I'm gonna hold my uh, the left key in my mouse so we're gonna draw a free uh, like a freehand uh, polygon so once you did that you're gonna release uh, the left key in my mouse so it's gonna select all those features which falls inside the the lassos and the next option uh, you're gonna select by is select by circle so it selects the features by drawing a circle around them so I'm gonna click this and I'm gonna clear the selection here and I'm gonna click here so I'm gonna click and hold my uh, left key so it's gonna draw a circle here you can able to see that so now I've selected all those features which falls inside the circle similarly let me show you once more time here so I'm gonna click and hold my left key in my mouse and it's gonna draw a circle around it's gonna draw a circle so all the features inside the circle it's gonna get selected so now here you can able to see it has selected all those features which is falling inside the circle and the next select tool is over select by line so select by line select the features by drawing a line that intersects uh, them so we're gonna select the select by line and they're gonna clear the selection so in select by line you essentially just uh, drop your vertices along the line that uh, you could uh, want to have uh, be the basis for of the selection and uh, double click it so let me show you that I'm gonna draw a line here so you can able to see and I'm gonna double click here so it's gonna select all those features uh, based on our line so uh, let me clear this so the next uh, tool is a uh, select by trace so select features by tracing a line that touches them so I'm gonna click this tool called trace so the trace tool is the kind of uh, select by trace is a kind of interesting uh, tool so it allows you to uh, let me let me show you that here so we're going to zoom into this part of the study region so with the select by trace uh, you can actually trace along the polygon edges or the line edge or any particular feature so it's like a kind of uh, we're going to click here and uh, we're going to hold on this boundary here so we're going to trace this particular boundary so you can able to see that so I'm moving the mouse according to the boundary of this particular uh, feature here and once you're done so once you're done your trace I'm gonna double click here so now it's selected the features based on this particular trace of this uh, this based on this particular boundary so basically this particular tool uh, selected uh, those features that is uh, it selects anything that had uh, like uh, that was shared along the boundary line So now we're going to navigate to this option called uh, list by selection. So this particular uh, what it does is uh, layers are listed by whether the features are selectable by the interactive selection and the editing tools. So now we're going to click this option and uh, this particular tool is very useful in case uh, if you want to select the features only from this particular uh, layer make sure that uh, you uh, click this tick mark here and uh, it's going to select the features only from this particular layer. So for example let me show you that so we're going to use the select tool select by rectangle so it's going to select features only from this particular layer called population status and in case uh, let me clear this and in case if you want to select the uh, features uh, from the uh, if you want to select the features only from this particular layer make sure that you turn this on and turn this off so now we're going to select the uh, features only from this particular layer called the reserved forest area so now again I'm going to click the tool, uh, select tool and uh, you can able to see this. So it's going to select the features only from the reserved forest area. So you can able to see that it have selected only from this particular layer called the reserved forest area. So around 203 features are selected. And uh, if you want to select uh, features only from this particular layer so you can turn this uh, layer on and uh, you can select uh, features from this particular layer only. So you can able to see now. So let me clear the selection and let me navigate to the list by uh, drawing order. So in the next step, I'm going to show you the interactive selection tool here. For example, I'm going to navigate to this option called selection option. So in this, you can able to set the interactive selection options and mode. So previously by default is selected to create a new selection uh, by default. 
So now we're going to select this particular option called this particular option called remove from the current selection. So I'm going to select this particular option and I'm going to click OK. So basically what it's going to do is it's going to remove from the current selection. Before that, let me uh, click this option, create a new selection. Before that, let me select uh, the features here. So now I have selected the features, right? So I'm going to navigate this option and uh, and now we're going to select this one of the selection combination mode. So I'm going to click this option called remove from the current selection. So I'm going to select this particular option. And uh, once you did that, basically what it's going to do is uh, it's going to remove the remove from the current selection. So previously I've selected this particular feature. So now when I use this select tool, it's going to remove those selection from the current selection. So I'm going to click OK. So I'm going to use uh, select by circle. And now I'm going to uh, select uh, this particular center point of this uh, selection area. So now we can able to see it has removed the selection uh, from the current selections. You can able to see that. And similarly, the next option uh, we're going to select is uh, select from the current selection. So basically this particular option, what it, uh, it's going to do is it's going to select features only from the current selection. So this is our current selection and the selection will be based only from this current selection only. So uh, I've selected, select from the current uh, selection and I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to select by rectangle. So for example, I'm going to select only this portion here. So now we can able to see that it basically what it does is uh, it's uh, select from the current selection only. So we're going to click OK. So in the next uh, option, uh, I'm going to show you how to create a layer from the base zone of a current current selection. So uh, to do that, first we're going to navigate our population status here. So we're going to right click and uh, now we're going to navigate to this option called uh, selections, selection option. And in that, I'm going to click this option called. So I'll click this option called make a layer from the selected feature. So I'm going to click this option called make a layer from selected feature. So what it does is uh, basically make uh, a copy of this layer just using uh, just the uh, currently selected features. So I'm going to click this. So what it does is it creates a new layer in our table of content section. You can able to see that as a population status selection. So let me show you that. I'm going to turn this off. So you can able to see that. So uh, what it does is it creates a new layer in our table of content that represents the, the selected features. So you can able to see that this is our new uh, layer population status selection based on our selected feature. And uh, this particular feature, that is a population of a newly uh, created uh, population status selection fee, uh, selection layer. It is kind of temporary layer, which is stored only inside this RGIS Pro project. So to make it as a permanent feature, we have to click this option, right click. And uh, we have to navigate this option called data. And we have to select this option called export features. Now uh, the input feature is our population status selection. And choose the output file location where you could like to save this. So once you exported this, so this particular layer is going to be a permanent uh, feature. So uh, to export this, we're going to click OK. And now we're going to close this window here. So now this particular layer, it's a temporary layer. So it's going to only exist inside the RGS Pro project only. So to make it as a permanent, we have to export this particular uh, layer to make it uh, make this particular feature as a permanent uh, feature. So now let me clear the selection here. So we're going to turn off this layer called population status. So the next tool uh, we're going to focus on is the select by location. So select by location, select features using the location of features in an, an another layer. So let me turn this layer on. So uh, here something uh, you can uh, kind of uh, do with the select by location tools. So uh, let's say that uh, I have this selection uh, of different places that are uh, kind of uh, like uh, this particular study area. Let's say that I just uh, wanted to identify which additional the additional places share a boundary with uh, what I've selected here. So to do that, I have already cleared the selection, uh, cleared out my selection using this particular tool called clear. And uh, now we're going to navigate this this tool called select by location. So a new uh, pop window pop up saying select by location and the input feature and uh, in the input feature, I'm going to select the population status and the relationship. So we're going to select, uh, we have a different type of relationship that is available in this uh, option here. So we're going to select uh, this particular uh, option called boundary touches. 
and the selecting feature so it's going to be the population status selection and the selection type it's going to be the new selection so let me place the window here I'm going to turn this on and uh, I'm going to click uh, apply and I'm going to click OK so now I'm going to change the color of this particular layer here so to do that I'm going to right click so I'm going to select a red color to it so now let me zoom in here so now uh, you can kind of uh, really see the difference uh, I've just made uh, a red color to it so uh, in this way you can see my original selection was uh, the red color and uh, then all kinds of uh, places that share a boundary or uh, or a kind of touch the boundary of the selected features are now being selected too so you can able to see this these areas you can able to see that so this is what I want to show you how to use this uh, interactive selection and select by location in RGIS Pro so uh, thanks for watching and uh, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and give us a like